This week's economic update is presented by Augusta Business Daily and TAB, the Alternative Board. Well, we begin the week that was, David, with a Stuckey's story. Uh, Stephanie Stuckey spoke to the Augusta University Hull College of Business. Several hundred people there, by the way. Have you been to Stuckey's? How long ago was it? And what did you buy? <laughs> you know, it's been a heck of a long time since I was at Stuckey's. I, was, I think I was very young. Okay. Can't remember exactly, but do you remember going there? My favorite thing was the those pecan log rolls. That's the number one you know, seller. Every kid loves candy, right? Yep, and they have these glitchy little alligators and for the kids to right, stuffed right, animals right, right, and right, just right. kind sure. of knickknack kind of stuff. She talked about that. She's writing a book about being able to buy back the family business mm -hmm. from investors who got it from her grandfather. We learned in the story that Marty Coker, who owned all the BP gas stations, right. had a uh, gas station, BP, along with stuck He's the first franchisee in Evans, which was with Bel Air at I-20, first in the country. Amazing. And they've done a Renz expansion, $5 million, hired a bunch of people, and uh, really neat. And I know you, you picked something out of the story you thought was kind of cool, too. Yeah, the interesting thing for me in that story was, uh, being, you know, coming from the business coaching standpoint, was that her father had told her that uh, how, how would she turn around the business? You know, she can't even, hasn't even ran a, a lemonade stand, if I remember correctly, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, she certainly proved him wrong, right? Yeah, and so. that's, that's the Stuckey's story right. online. Talking about companies coming to this area like Stuckey's, we have another company, the Tinton Group, coming uh, not as far away as Renz, or maybe about the same distance yeah, sure. uh, in South Carolina. Basically, the Tenton Group is going to bring a manufacturing facility for truck tires here. I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys had a chance to read the story. But the great thing about our, what, what that is for our economy is they're bringing over a thousand jobs mm -hmm. into the area. And when a company like that moves into the area, uh, certainly it does two things. One, it provides jobs mm -hmm. for people from this area. It's only, what, 45, 50 minutes away sure. that you can go to. And then the second thing is, is that when a company moves like that into the area, uh, it just creates a snowball effect of where, you know, more highly trained employees, more business, attracts more business, and et cetera, et cetera, and just kind of moves on down the line. And so. you, you think about all the folks from Columbia County that have traveled to SRS, my mother-in-law included. <laughs> right. It's an hour each way, right. but it's such a great career opportunity, which is fantastic. The other thing we wanted to share with you is every Thursday, David and his his partner, uh, Darren Myers, puts together an interesting report from TAB, a story that digs kind of deep on what's going on. This week on Thursday was about employee morale. And the, the old saying, a bad apple can spoil the whole bunch, or if you've got a bad person in there, it can be a cancer and affect everyone else. So I was touched how critical this is, a higher slow, Fire fast. Yeah, we, we've heard we've heard yeah. that a lot. It's that people talk about higher, slow, fire fast. Uh, but you also got to think about the employees that you have. I mean, you don't, you know, you have to. Yeah. How are they doing? Right. Right. And the two things that Darren talked about in that story. Nobody wants to grow a successful business based on a guess. True. Right. And the second thing is, you how do you how do you measure employee morale? I mean, you know, do you walk around, do you talk to people, do you ask people, or do you as a company have right. a way to gauge employee morale, I think, which is the key thing, right? Yeah, that's very subjective. Like, it, maybe someone just puts on an air that they're happy. Right, and then, and, and that's a very real thing. Um, so the, the, the thing, and Darren talked about this a little bit, he said the three things that you measure is you ask, listen, ask and listen, mm -hmm. and then measure those results. Okay. So, and you can do that a, a multitude of different ways. You can have suggestion boxes, exit interviews, or all those types of ways. Of course, you can just talk to people. Um, an exit interview is a very powerful thing to do. I mean, many I've, companies I've don't do I've been through that, that and, I, and most people are honest at the end because it, it, it doesn't matter. Right, it exactly. It can't affect but their So few companies income. actually do that, right. especially smaller companies, yeah. right? So that's a very key thing to do. The, what I would suggest is kind of an, an additional thing that wasn't mentioned in the article is also the as a company manager or as the owner, come in, create a... Mm -hmm. Create a way to measure this. You know, come up with the elements of employee morale. Come up with it. What, what is it in that extra interview? Pick the things that you want to measure. Now, it's more subjective, 
right? Because it's not like you can go out and pay per clicks, you know exactly how many, but you can you can come up with our employees happy, what makes up that happiness, mm -hmm. or, or what are they upset about, how is management doing? Come up with, let's say, 10 elements that you want to actually measure, and then as, set yourself up to every 90 days, give yourself that assessment, and then set a goal up for that assessment, mm -hmm. uh, how are you doing? And then it can become a very powerful tool. You know, if the, if the exit interview, multitude of people are saying, well, I don't like this or that, or this is the problem, then from there you can go out and start to affect change on that. And then, of course, bring it back and have an objective way, way to turn subjective data into something objective that you can actually measure. Well, to learn more about employee morale, go to the bottom of our YouTube description and there's a link to go to Darren's article and catch him every Thursday morning at AugustaBusinessDaily.com and on your newsletter. David, thank you so much. Very enlightening, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. This week's economic update is presented by Augusta Business Daily and TAB, the Alternative Board. To learn how TAB can help your business, visit tabcsra.com.